<laughs> what is going on with fellow nerd nerd that so today coming out to another rant video yesterday was marvel today is going to be dc um so i kind of made this video already um i kind of redo it because i tend to run off a lot and kind of go all crazy so i have a little cheat sheet here that's going to help me stay on track okay i'm very upset about <laughs> the size of the solomon grundy uh, that's coming out um, the main reason why is because the Solomon Grundy is based off of the game that other, he's based out, out of Arkham City game. So in my mind, if you're basing him off of that, he should be around that size. Now, it didn't really hit me. I think I saw a picture or so about like when he's behind all the other figures and maybe it didn't click in my mind that he's just going to be that much bigger. I honestly thought he was going to be one of the bigger I was hoping and thinking he was going to be one of the bigger builder figures that we got. These are the only two that I have. Um, I know there's a King Shark as well that, that's you know that's pretty big and pretty wide. Um, but I want to say roughly it's around the same size. I think I have a picture right here um, from Shardimus Prime where he kind of did, uh, I think he uh, did Bane, King Shark, and one other um, big builder figure that's already out. So I'll put the picture right here and the credit goes to him, you know, obviously. Um, but those are bigger build a figure. So I was kind of hoping kind of around that range, maybe even bigger, because like I said, in the video game, and I'll post pictures all over the, the video, he is a really huge character. So I watched a Toy Shiz video, I believe. It was last Friday. Um, my brother follows him and they do go check him out. He already has them ready in hand. Cool. It was a huge letdown and I got very upset because he was actually small. He could, he, he puts him up next to this mega figure Bane and he was shorter than this mega figure Bane. And that was just like a huge blow. Like it's like, like I said, if you're making a Solomon Grundy figure based off like a different comic, a different, you know, time where, yeah, you know, obviously a lot of these characters, their height changes depending on the story. So, you know, you could have a Solomon Grundy figure that's a little bit more bigger. I know a lot of, or a little bit smaller. I know that there's people that complain about Bane. He's not always this, you know, huge hulking monster. There's different versions where he's just a little bit bigger than Batman. When you, um, so when you're making them based off of a specific character in a specific game, I think you should hold that scale to standard. Now, you know, McFarlane's not the best of scaling, I guess, but you know, at least for that way, it honestly he should have been saved as a mega figure. He 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 really should have. Um, another good builder figure that they could have done would have been Mr. Freeze. I know that the DC Collectibles one from the Arkham game is very you know it's pretty expensive, you know and. There's not that many Mr. Freezes out there that are like that. I think it's probably the only one. So to you know that could have been one that he that I think would have just sold even as much. Like I'm not a huge Mr. Freeze fan, but to have that cool looking ass one would have been awesome. So, and I know a lot of people will say, well, you know what? Like, what more do you want? This is a twenty five dollar fig. Well, each figure is twenty five bucks because you're paying five dollars for the um you know like the extra pieces to make Solomon Grundy. Which don't get me wrong, that sculpt is really nice. Um, the detailing it is really nice. Wish the chest would pop open kind of like the DC collectibles one, but you know, just the height is what kills it. And I get it. Like you're not going to pay a hundred, two hundred dollars, maybe even three sometimes for that Solomon Grundy figure that from the DC collectibles, um, compare, you know, you're not going to spend that much money when you can get this one for 20 bucks. And the, you know, I, I get it. I understand, you know, but it's just a huge letdown. He, he should have just waited to make it a mega figure. Like these two are some of like the biggest mega figures that he has, um, and these are these are perfect. Like you can see the Batman scale to him. This would have been you know more accurate than a figure that's smaller than this Bane. Don't get me wrong. I'm still gonna. I have the. I pre-ordered the that that wave the day that you were able to, um, and so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, what's it called? Cancel it. it. It was just a huge letdown for the people that missed out on the DC collectibles one. Um, I actually found one for a really good deal and I was really hoping to do like a side-by-side -side comparison like I did with the Titan Joker but I mean as far as like detailing wise I could still do it but like scaling wise it's yeah like not even close and, you know I, I have the Clayface one too and I can't really compare that Clayface to the one that McFarlane made because it's from two different things um, but it's just like I said it was just a huge letdown to see the size of it <laughs> you know just be so small and significant like like i said don't get me wrong it looks really good the other figures i know the batman's like a repainted one so but we're getting catwoman which is really cool i like the catwoman from the game 
Uh, the penguin, he looks pretty cool. It's all right. And then the Ray Shao Ghoul, he looks kind of, <laughs> I think someone said it looks like a Wolverine, which it kind of does. But, I mean, he's still a pretty cool looking figure. And so you're pretty much getting five figures. If you, if you buy all of them, five figures uh, for 100 bucks, and including the Solomon Grundy, right? Because uh, after all the pieces. So that's it's not, a bad, it's not a bad deal at all, especially if you love the game. Like I said, those two games, the Arkham uh, Asylum and Arkham City, were very, very amazing games that, like, I could still play the play to this day like some of like two of my most favorite games um but like i said just the letdown <laughs> um like i said these are just kind of comparisons that i have like like i said he's 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 shorter but he's thicker uh this uh atrocitus is the same height as the as the bane and these two were builder figures and like i said the you know like the picture i'll put up here with the like king shark and um i don't remember that blue batman i can't remember what the hell his name is and like i said those were builder figures that were a bit bigger and I was kind of expecting at least that, and just to see that, that that part of the video, from Toy Shiz, that it was just man, it just sucked. <laughs> um, so I I am upset that that it was not saved for a mega figure because like I said, they could have done Harley, they could have done the Riddler, they could have done Mister Freeze, like there's a bunch of other characters, Poison Ivy, that you know could have been uh, a builder figure, and I still believe it would have sold. I really think if they had Mister Freeze. I really think that one would have sold because it just, he looks very cool in the game. So, um, no pun intended, <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I said, it, at least, at least this size right here, that, that look at that, that, that would have been a really good thing. So, um, maybe in the future, but I, I can't see him making a build a figure that's smaller and then re-release him as a mega fig and bigger. I can't see it happening, but you never know. I hope, I kind of do hope that he does it, but it's kind of, that would be more of like a kick in the face as well, which I guess doesn't really matter because he released King Shark as a builder figure, and then he had his own mega fig, and I think it was just a paint swap, right? Then he had like bloody mouth, and like the shorts were different color. So, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully he does come out with the mega fig version of it, though, because that would be pretty cool. I would pick that one up as well, um, just because it would be more, uh, you know, appropriate to the scaling, but... Yeah, so that's my rant for the DC. It's just, yeah, really lit down. But like I said, I'm not going to cancel it. I'm still going to get it. So I have my Solomon Grundy. So I'll probably still do the review and comparison once it come in as far as like the accuracy and details and stuff like that. But as far as far as height goes, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be the winner right there based off of that. Yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoy. And let me know what your opinions are on it as well. Um, I'm interested to hear. Like I said, I get it. Cheaper value, really cool. It's just they should have saved it for a mega figure. Everyone would have paid, you know, 40, 50 bucks for that, especially if the chest piece would pop out because I know on the um, build a figure one it doesn't. Um, you know, I just feel people would have paid it, would have much rather paid $40 for the mega fig version instead of getting a tinier build a figure version when you could have easily replaced those parts out with, like I said, just many other villains that were in the game. I would have chose Mr. Freeze. Yeah, uh, let me know what you think. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ha, 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 ha